you some kitty ASMR. <laughs> Hello everyone, in this video, <laughs> I'm going to be talking about seven legitimate ways that I have actually made money <laughs> online. Okay. <laughs> Seven legitimate ways that I've actually made money online. I want to keep this video very short and sweet, concise, etc. So I'm not going to go into every single detail. I um, have actually just started working on an article about this. So that should be up on my website soon. It's called Seven Legitimate Ways That I've Actually Made Money Online. But by that time, I, I don't know. I have <laughs> something. Before. I don't know if I'm going to change the title. I am planning to include this video with the article. So I'm going to cover seven, seven different ways that I have made money online. Legitimate, legitimately, like I have actually gotten paid through these seven different ways. Okay? Disclaimer. Okay, first of all, I want to mention that these are mostly active income streams except YouTube I'm gonna mention YouTube and kind of my experience a bit but YouTube is kind of a form of active and passive income so also websites are also kind of similar so that's those are kind of considered passive income streams things like websites or YouTube because you put it out there and then you keep on getting you, you know like royalties basically from it the same thing with writing a book it's more of a passive income stream it's kind of active in a sense that you have to do some work on it but in the long run it's a passive income stream because you know you work on it you put it out there and then you don't have to do more work on it but you basically get royalties from it. And then I also want to talk about another one that I'm working on. There was another one that I was working on that seemed pretty good, and there have been so many different websites and things that just seemed good, but they didn't really turn out so... I don't want to say that they didn't turn out so well, but they didn't really... I didn't really get anything out of it, do you get what I mean? And I also want to say that as I'm filming this, I am uploading a, a little quick commentary video on the new Breaking Bad movie, El Camino. If you haven't heard about it, it's coming out on the 11th of October, the 11th of October 2019, this year, obviously. And I also just uploaded another video about the new Joker movie coming out near my birthday. I'm not sure when, but also Breaking Bad. That the, the Breaking Bad movie is coming out near my birthday in October. I'm still not sure of the date. I don't think that they've released the date yet for the Joker, as far as I know. <laughs> that will be published tomorrow, Friday. Also, my, uh, my, another, I have another surgery tomorrow, or actually today. That'll be published today, and my next surgery for my scalp is today, because I mentioned that in another video. So, going back to the ways that I've made money online. First of all, I want to mention eBay. I've been doing that since I was a teenager. Actually, a lot of these things I've been doing since I was a teenager. And, okay, so disclaimer. Going back to that disclaimer. These things might take a while. For some things, it could be actually very quick depending on how much effort and time you put into it. So if, if you're selling things online, or in, if you're selling things in general, that's, you know, that's going to be quicker, okay? It's going to turn out more quickly. You know, you're going to get your money more quickly. Versus get paid to or GPT websites or gig websites. So, first of all, eBay. I started selling things on eBay when I was a teenager. I've sold things like CDs, um... A movie, etc. I've sold, I recently sold something on eBay. Um, that little faux plant that I was, that little faux aloe plant that I um, hauled one of them, I sold on eBay. It was back in a desert paradise aesthetic haul video that I did. 
I haven't sold those heart-shaped sunglasses yet. I need to list them on eBay. <laughs> Let go hasn't really worked out yet for me. I also used to use Listia a lot, but that uses credits, Listia credits, rather than actual cash. Um, you can charge for shipping, though. So I did sell a lot of stuff on Listia, too. I sold a lot of stuff on Listia. The next one would be Fiverr. I did some gigs on Fiverr when I was a teenager and I got paid for that. The thing is that even though it's called Fiverr, they do take a percentage of the money. So you actually get more like, you get like $4 basically. Okay. So I did some gigs through Fiverr and you know, I've, I've still tried after that and it didn't really work out so much after, after those, I think it was like two three gigs. I think it was two gigs, but maybe it was three. Um, so that would have been like eight to twelve dollars. Um, channel pages. If you don't know what channel pages is, channel pages by Fanbridge. It's basically a community where YouTubers can get together, collaborate, um, and just kind of do networking. And I joined channel pages years ago, okay, years ago, and I was actually interviewed by webcam by Lelio, Lelio or Lelio, I think, um, of channel pages. I was interviewed and I got paid for that with an Amazon gift card. And another one is cashback. So cashback, I, I do like to shop online and I've been using this one for years as well. I actually remember that one time with Ebates, I think that they were just like one cent off and you know, they were apologetic and they sent me a whole extra $5 and one cent, I believe, to like make up for that. <laughs> Ebates, which is now Rakuten, Rakuten. Um, I still shop with them. The thing with Ebates is that it's going to be very dependent on different categories. A lot of the times what percentages you get in cash back. So, um, different, pay attention to the categories when you shop with them. I shop a lot with eBay and Amazon. And again, that's Ebates, which is now owned by Rakuten. Which is kind of fun to say, Rakuten. Rakuten. Esmar. Rakuten. Rakuten. <laughs> anyway. Um, YouTube. Okay, now. Okay. If you guys didn't know this, some of you probably do. I used to be a part of an of an MCN partnership with Style Hall. MCN means multi channel net multi channel network, and basically, it's, you have a partnership, and they get a percentage of your money. And it it wasn't really a lot of huge drama. That wasn't really what happened and why I quit. It just, I mean, it's just some of the basic stuff that other YouTubers might mention when they talk about why they left their style hall partnerships. Basically just not really a lot was happening. Like they give you a very basic YouTube channel header, like banner, the channel art banner. Very basic. I have made a lot of way more detailed ones over the years and another thing was that I know that they were working with Maybelline they were like collabor collaborating with Maybelline and Maybelline tests on animals there might have been other brands too I don't exactly remember but I mostly remember Maybelline I don't know if Revlon was ever involved but I just I didn't want to be involved with that like even when I would see their advertisement not not really advertisements but when they would have their things that show I guess kind of advertisements I just 
I, I think that they had opportunities, and I didn't want to be involved in any way with that. But with that, I actually did make um, not the most amount of money in the world, but I made quite a bit over the few years. The, of course, you know, they did take a percentage. I've heard from someone else that I know that does YouTube that she's with another MCN, that they have done some pretty good things for her, you know. So she is, um, was, is a part of Talency. I think it's Talency. But still, when I was, I don't know, because the way that I am is just after my experiences with MCN stuff, I just, I'm more like not about it. I don't want to be a part of an MCN. I don't recommend it at all. Um, I mean, they did do some promo for me, but not a lot. And there was, um, what do you call it? Like a limit. There was a limit of how much they could do promo for, like tweets. They could only tweet a certain amount of videos, like once per week. And I guess for the smaller channels, some people think that they didn't really do a lot of promo for the smaller channels. But I guess with Talency, the percentage is higher. But when I was looking at them, I was just interested in seeing some more information about them. So, and I think I was going to maybe sign up, even though I'm like, oh, I'm not about MCNs, right? But I was considering it. I don't know, lately I've been considering it a little bit again, but, you know, I just think it's not really worth it. I'm just going to have to keep on trying to reach 1,000 subscribers and 40,000 watch hours. Just got to keep on trying, okay? Don't give up. Don't stop. Keep going. You know, it's it's been almost a decade, and, you know, there's been some fluctuations. There have been some fluctuations. There have been some plateaus, but... Even though I get frustrated sometimes, I'm just not, I don't completely want to stop. Sometimes I do get frustrated and overwhelmed. I'm just like, ugh, you know, and I kind of feel like, <sighs> but at, at the same time, there's still a part of me that doesn't want to stop. Okay, but I was looking through there. I think it was terms of service, basically, and man, their stuff was just, it's it's very concerning they're the things that they require like if if you're gonna be sponsored they say have them send the sponsorships the the money straight to their to the MCN like not even straight to you you can't like you basically don't even have a right to your own money and they just have all kinds of control over a whole bunch of details I don't remember everything <laughs> Okay, so moving on, inbox dollars. That one did take kind of a while for me to actually get paid because I wasn't always as consistent with keeping up with it. Okay, but I've been paid multiple times with Ebates and I've been paid multiple times, I was paid multiple times when I had an MCN partnership. Again, I've also sold things multiple times on eBay, I got paid multiple times on Fiverr, inbox dollars, I got paid once last year, it did take a while, <laughs> but the point is that I got up to $40, I'm not really gonna say so much of everything, with Style Hall, the threshold is $25, and, um, Okay, so I, I'm still working on it again. So I've made about $57 with inbox dollars. I've gotten paid the around $40. It was $40.05 because the threshold is actually 30, but I kind of waited to get it higher. And they do take a fee. I they take a fee when when you cash out. So that actually took me a few years, <laughs> but I actually also have a guide to 
inbox dollars like a basic information guide to making money with inbox dollars i have that on my old web blog which is thoughtswithamy.blogspot.com i don't really post on that anymore because i have my website amyrosanova.com but i haven't taken the old one down because there's still a lot of great stuff on there and i want to kind of refurbish a lot of that old stuff so i'm still working on inbox dollars and basically it's another gpt site you get paid to do little tasks you know you can take surveys the survey the surveys don't really seem to work out very well um i inbox dollars has changed quite quite a bit over the years so some different features that might have been available or that might have been more useful to do for example when you would watch videos or you would do certain things you would just immediately get earnings in like the the basic you know change you would earn cents right but now a lot of times you can, I mean, you can still earn that, you can still earn the actual money on the website, but they have you earning spins, or no, wait, not spins, scratch and wins. You can do the spins. It does seem a bit rigged, I'm going to be honest, because mostly you will get either the green scratch and win or the purple scratch and win sometimes you won't get a win sometimes rarely but it's it could still happen you might get the survey coins which means if you complete a survey you could get extra extra um earnings from that so i um also checked out in the script does the description box down below for more resources and links etc i'll link a bunch of stuff when when my article is published i will link that down below and i will link down the other article the inbox dollars guide that i have on my old web blog i will link that down below as well and please subscribe to my youtube channel for other information and just interesting videos in general because, you know, <laughs> please me ascribe. I feel like there's more that I want to say about inbox dollars, though. There are a lot of different things you can do. You can do free offers, daily paid emails, but if you don't do, like, different things, if you don't kind of have a variety of at least a few things, they will put a limit on you to um, weekly emails instead of daily emails. Uh, weekly paid emails instead of daily paid emails. And... By the way, when I'm looking this way, I'm looking at my computer, usually. I'm, that's why I'm looking over here, is to look at my computer, at my article that I've been writing, that I wrote. I'm probably going to add more information to it. Um, mm, you could also do polls, you can watch videos, you can download apps and earn money, you can download the app, the Inbox Dollars app. There's a lot of different, there are a lot of different things. So I think I'm going to move on from talking about Inbox Dollars now. So Swagbucks. Swagbucks I also started as a teenager. I kind of just left it alone for a while and I would just not really be as consistent with it. I just kind of left it alone. I kind of abandoned it for a while. And I, I kind of started to pick it up again not that long ago. I still had my old earnings, by the way, and I kind of earned some more. And so recently I was able to get a $5 Amazon gift card, which actually did help. I already used it. And it does help in the course of trying to save and make money. And... I have some other old articles too on my old web blog. I'll link that down below as well. Well, actually, there are two main ones that I'm thinking of, which are the one about making and saving money online, and then I have another article that I started working on a while ago. It's my elite neat guide, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um of saving and making money online. And 
So I will just link whatever needs to be linked down below. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, achievement. Here's my tablet. Oh, come on. While, um, while I'm waiting for it to turn on, I'm going to try to explain achievement to you. So achievement is an app. I started on the website, actually, but I think that you can't really access it from the website anymore. But basically, you can get paid to do health and fitness related things. So if you can sync up a whole bunch of different apps to your um, Google Fit. I use My Fitness Pal, Google Fit, a bunch of different workout apps that also connect to Google Fit. And these will connect to Achievement. I use the app nowadays because I, oh, okay. Here's the thing, which I was excited about, right? I used to use the website, and then years later, I logged in to the app, and I found all of my old earnings there, which was pretty exciting. I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on. If you go onto a website and you see that you have a lot of earnings and that it was still tracking you, I mean, not tracking you, but tracking your health and fitness activities over the years like still doing that and you're still earning like revenue on that still earning earnings <laughs> still earning money on that points still earning points on that it was basically still giving me points over the years even though no I didn't know I didn't know so that was just exciting to see that it had still been going up and I actually almost have enough to cash out. So basically, when you get to 10,000 credits, you will get $10. They will pay you $10. And it has been tracking me for years. So I almost have enough. Just try to be consistent. And you, with just with all of these things, any, any income source, active, passive, just try to be consistent. And you will most likely get it a lot sooner. The thing is that Sometimes with things, uh, I can be like very consistent and then not always as consistent. So if you keep on checking up on it and keeping up with it and doing all the activities, you're probably going to cash out. You're, you're probably going to be able to cash out a lot sooner and get to that payment threshold a lot sooner. Okay. So, and another thing is that... Oh, I'm also planning to show at some point in the future some of the stuff on my devices, like the games, etc. Because what's all my games? <laughs> Our love and life. All right, so achievement. It's loading. Is it? Wait, let me let me make sure that it's yeah, it's connected. Okay. So this is basically what it looks like when you open it up. And then you can do the friend referral bonus. You can do achievement community stories as a survey. Um, summer sun and summer reading. So I'm going to click on this. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, it tracks it, and I have over 8,500 points, a aka over 8,500 points, which is very close to the cash out. And I also want to mention Zap surveys, which I'm just kind of ambivalent with a lot of things, a lot of different apps and different ways to make money, like I'm kind of not completely, I don't want to say torn, I don't want to say conflicted. The thing with Zap surveys is that it seems to work really well. I haven't been able to log into it anymore, but there was something where uh, it kind of disappeared from the App Store or the Google Play Store um, a few times, once or twice. And I just thought that was kind of sketchy. But I was still able to use it while it disappeared. 
I remember it disappearing once for sure. And I haven't been able to log back into it again. But the earnings seem to go up pretty quickly. And they even reward you if you get, um, what's it called? Basically, if you get rejected for a survey or whatever, you still get earnings. Like, they still reward you for that, which I really like. I just haven't been able to log in lately, I guess. Let's see. Let's see. I have it right here. That's Zap Surveys, by the way. All right. I'm trying to get it to send me an email. I'll just have to wait for that, I guess, and, and do that next time. I need to continue charging my tablet. So if you want to try out Zap surveys, go for it. If you want to try out any of these things, go for it if you want to. And I hope that maybe this video has been helpful to you, anyone that's watched it, someone that's watched it. So Zap surveys, I'm probably going to have to, st I still want to see where it goes when I'm finally able to log back into it. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice slash blessed slash good day. And again, I don't have sparkles with me right now. So just pretend that I am throwing sparkles. <laughs> and please me subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on social media. You can either find me as... You can either find me with Amy Rosanova, my name, or my usual username is Vegan Amy Rose. Sometimes it is Amy Rosanova, depending on which social media website you're looking on. Um, please check out my website, amyrosanova.com. You can also see some really great articles on my old weblog, <laughs> thoughtswithamy.blogspot.com. I don't really post on there anymore but you know I left it up because there is still a lot of great content on there that I kind of want to like you know still use and maybe kind of refurbish and put it on to my new website also please check out my ebook it has a really long title you can find all that stuff down in the description box down below I have so many different ideas for YouTube. I am not gonna give up, okay? Okay? Thank you so much to everyone that supports me. Sometimes I do get really frustrated and even kind of overwhelmed. I just want to say thank you to everyone that legitimately enjoys my videos and has just, you know, been encouraging to me. The people that, you know, tell me that they like my videos, that they like my channel. Thank you so much. And, you know, sometimes it's just really complicated. And I, I do want to succeed, okay? Just to fail, okay? But I also want to have fun, okay? It is a lot of work. And it's also a lot of fun sometimes <laughs> I have started to work on another video again that I kind of wasn't working on for a while it is my first pair of EXO merchandise ever that I've ever bought I started to continue editing that video because I just kind of left it alone for a while so that should be up hopefully soon again Thank you all so much for watching. May God bless you. Have a nice slash blessed slash good day. And I want to try to think of some other things before I go so that this can reach 30 minutes. Okay. Um, um, um.
unicorns. <laughs> Goodbye!